Okay, here's a quick tutorial on how to use a single channel with a waveform to do drum programming on Nanoloop for iOS and Android. Pick the instrument channel and open up a waveform uh, by just picking this small square. I'm not going to explain how to put waves on here. Usually you just use something like iTunes and to share the files and copy them over. I'll load up a classic wave that I have here, classic break, which is just an Amen break. Now the way uh, the wave sample works is once it's loaded up and you put this wave into the sequence, it will start from the beginning of the wave and play to the end. So if I put it for every quarter note, you'll say hear it start at every uh, quarter for the sequence. Now obviously we don't want to use a pattern like that. What we would like to do is to take advantage of all the sounds that are here, uh, but say at different portions on the sequence itself. So what we do is, we want to do two things basically. We need to use the parameters that we have for uh, the wave globally and change some of the parameters locally in the sequence. Now, what I mean by that is, first of all, we need to only play a small portion of the wave. We don't want to play it all the way through. We only want to play a very small portion. So what we would want to do is we just want to change the decay to be quite short. So now I'll just do the same thing and put four quarter notes into the sequence. As you can hear, it just is hitting the very beginning kick, the first note um, of this loop. Uh, I should say the first portion of this loop uh, for every quarter note. Now, the second bit to start taking advantage of the other portions of the waveform is to use the offset. Now, what the offset does is it tells uh, where the wave should start when it's put into the uh, where it's when it's put into the sequence. So this this point, I've just changed this. You can see the screen line represents the offset. I made it start at this snare drum sound. So when I put the note into the sequence again, you'll hear that it's playing just the snare sound because it's short and it's starting at that start point. Now. We don't want to just play just a kick or just a snare. We want to be able to basically choose any one of the sounds we have. The way we do that is we leave this offset at the beginning of the waveform. But instead of changing the offset globally in the instrument, we change it locally in the sequence. So we just pick the parameter for offset here. And for every note that we choose in the sequence, we will change the offset to start at a different place in the waveform. That way we're basically emulating the idea of, say, having each channel have its own wave or something like that. It's really just hitting each different sound at different times in the sequence. So what I'm going to do is, I'll just do a quick live demonstration of going through this loop and basically recreating the same drum loop inside this sequence by using uh, the notes and this offset parameter. So that starts the first note. I'm going to go to the next kick sound. And I'll go to the snare. Hi-hat sound. So as you can see, it's basically playing each one of these notes by hitting the different offset starting points along the wave as it goes through the pattern. And you see the offset is kind of increasing as it moves down because what's happening is I'm increasing this offset through the wave uh, as the it goes through the sequence. So let's listen to this again. We can do things now since it's basically the pattern setup such as changing the, uh, the decay, the pitch, and other things. So let's just change the speed as well to make it a little bit more drum and bass sounding.
to decay a little bit more. Now we can also change any of these parameters that we see here inside the sequence, which leads me to the, the next uh, biggest feature, I think, for these waves, which is the loop length. Now the loop length will actually loop the waveform from wherever the offset is set for some period of time. Now, I don't know what each numerical value represents. There's some calculation for that. Um, but basically, the shorter the, the loop length, the, uh, very sh the, the shorter the loop will be from that point in the offset. Now, the nice thing about this is it can create a kind of stutter effect. It's something that's very nice you should just experiment with. I find it really useful in, just, uh, in, in making music in general on the on nano loop. So I'm going to just copy the pattern by holding down on one and putting it on to two and I'll just change some parameters on the second one and you can hear what happens when I change this uh, loop length. So you can see it has a kind of stutter effect, and if we move between patterns, it gives it a very nice live feel. Um, in addition, you can change other things like pitch, uh, which will have just the effect you're thinking, uh, decay, attack, volume. All of the parameters that are available for the waveform can be changed in the parameter. Uh, those parameters can be changed in the sequence itself. So there you have it. That's a quick uh, tutorial about how to use a uh, wave sample uh, to make in a single channel to make a drum pattern in Nano Loop for iOS and Android. Now this is uh, obviously an iPad, but on Android it works the same. It's all the same concepts. There's nothing. Nothing really changes there. So uh, hope that was useful. Thank you very much for watching.